Now I'm the kind of guy that I have to see it to believe it. I'm just, you know, I wouldn't call myself a, a skeptic, but just had something happen this morning, a rude awakening, if you want to call it that. I woke up about, oh man, three in the morning, just a little bit after three this morning to loud music. And Lily, my dog, was outside just going crazy. Now she's been acting really weird the last two, the last two to three days, I would say two for sure. But I noticed, you know, I go in there and spend time with them several times a day. Lily just cannot stay in, and and actually this has been going on over a week. She just does not like to be in the dog apartment. That's what I call it. I've, I built an entire room, climate controlled for my dogs, my outside dogs. They won't come in the cabin. Can't get them in here. They will not stay inside. But anyway, she's been staying outside most of the time. Well, it's a little rainy tonight, so she was inside. And I just wake up, oh, you know, I, I didn't go to bed till midnight. And I got woke up about three in the morning. And uh, first thing I hear is my dog going ballistic outside. And it's not like her to bark at night. She's not outside barking at rabbits and things. But she was in distress. I mean, I haven't heard her bark like this since she was young. And... The next thing I notice is I hear loud music and I can't, it ain't coming from inside my cabin and I can't figure out where it's coming from. And I, I hear it. It sounds like it's coming in from my driveway out back. Uh, so, you know, I'm like, who, who the hell's here at three in the morning? You know, when somebody shows up at your house at three in the morning with loud music cranking, uh, you, you, you better worry. So I grab my protection and I, I make my way to the back door. I got a screen patio back there. And as soon as I opened the back door, I could hear it was coming from the dog apartment. Well, they have a radio in there and I play their music really low. You know, once in a while I got to go in there uh, and change the station because one station plays football games or something. It only picks up two. That's the same as any radio here. But that music was cranking, playing the Judds. And uh, <laughs> so I go in there, and it's as loud as it will go. And I go to turn it down, and the knob moves, and it turns down. So I turned it down. I, I couldn't figure out how it got up loud. And then it went back up again. You know, I, I put a video up on my other channel. I'm not going to play it on here because it's playing music. I don't want to copyright on this channel. I'll take it on that one, but I didn't get one so far. But it went back up, so I just unplugged it. And so I came back in and watched the video. I've got I've got a camera in there. Spiders have built a web every night. I knock them down every day. Every night, the spider builds another web in front of the camera. Well, but you can see in the video that the music just gradually goes up. It starts actually like two in the morning. And over the course of the hour, it, it gradually goes up. And as soon as the song comes on, that's the part I recorded that's on my other channel. As soon as the Judd song came on, it shot as loud as it would go. As loud as it would go. And there's nothing like waking up to that. Your dog's freaking out. But you can see in the video, they they just ran outside, you know, and uh, they're they're in there sleeping now. I'm gonna throw that. <laughs> but this is an old radio, okay? It's not Bluetooth. It's not digital. It has not manual knobs that you have to turn up and down, up and down. Same with the tuning. It's got the manual, you know, the old fashioned slider bar. Uh. And it worked perfect. And still, I sat there and I turned it up and down and it worked perfect. So 
So I wasn't going to leave it on. I got on the camera. I didn't see anything. But it's weird that it's eerie that that thing just gradually over time went up. But when that's when that song came on, it shot up loud. I mean loud. Now, I don't. Two people died here in this cabin. Uh, well, the man died. I know that for sure. He died up in the loft. That was his room. And then the woman that died here collapsed in the, just past the front door. And they took her to the hospital where she died, I guess. I don't know. One of my uh, subscribers used to work in this house taking care of her. So if you ever had any, well, you wouldn't have been here after the fact, but you know, there's a few creepy things that have happened here, but nothing that's I, that kind of thing just don't scare me. I think if I, I think if I was to come face to face with one, I'd probably say get the hell out of here. You know, it wouldn't. It just doesn't scare me. I've never that kind of thing don't scare me. I don't really believe in it. Um, you know, we have a spirit. Why would we? Why would you hang out in a house that you lived in? When you could go, you know, I don't understand that part of it. I'm not saying that ghosts aren't real, but if I'm going to be a ghost, I'm going to go mess with some people. And they know they don't mess, they can't mess with me. Now, there are some things that have happened here that I can't explain. Every now and then I will smell. You ever have somebody, you're not a smoker, and you let somebody smoke. Nobody does this anymore, but you let somebody have a cigarette in your house and how strong that is. And once in a while, I'll smell like somebody's smoking a cigarette right in front of me. And I like it because I'm an ex-smoker. And ex-smokers love that smell. Well, at least I do. Some don't. And, and that's probably happened a dozen times. And, you know, that could be, you know, I gutted these walls. The walls were covered in nicotine, the ceilings. All that got tore down, but there were a few walls I left, but I painted kills, cup, two or three coats of kills over that. And why don't I smell it all the time? I mean, the house is full of cedar, you know, but this one I can't explain with the dog's radio. Yes, it could be something faulty with the radio. More, most likely that's what it is. Uh, but when I turned it down, Turned it down. I'm standing there. I turned it down. I should have got that. And it goes back up right in front of me. The same song. It's like, hey, don't turn that song off. I want to hear the Judds, man. So, I mean, I am not afraid right now. I mean, it, that kind of thing don't bother me. And I think there's only been one other, maybe a couple of other encounters in my life. One I will never forget, but it was one of them you weren't sure you know, it happened. I woke up. Uh, I was living uh, in Shakopee, Minnesota. I was working for a uh, printing company there. And I was living with my girlfriend at the time. And at 3 in the morning. They always say it happens at 3 in the morning. I wake up and sit up in bed. And I look at the end of the bed. And there's a whole group of raggedy muffin looking people standing there. And I screamed my head off. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you? That's what you saw. And she woke up and then they disappeared. But was I, was it a nightmare? Was I sleeping? It seemed real to me. It didn't seem like I had to wake up. It seemed like I was up. Maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. That's the only other encounter I've ever had. Um, that I can remember, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I can't say I was, it was part of my dream. Who knows? Uh, I don't like those kinds of dreams, but that's, and it was a condo. It was like on the top floor of a condo building. You know, I don't know who lived in that before, but I never, you know, never had a ill feeling there, anything like that. I don't have one here. And I know, knowing, knowing that at least one person passed away in this cabin, 
in this cabin. Now, the lady, she I think she died in the hospital, but she was sick here for a long time. Uh, like I said, one of my subscribers, uh, she'll probably comment, she came in here and she did the home care where she'd come in and, and take care of them. And maybe that's why I got this place so cheap. I don't know. I mean, I paid, I paid next to nothing for this place. But that's what happened tonight. And I happened to look at the cameras and, you know, and the night before, the night before I got, I went in there yesterday morning and there was a box fan and I had it on the ground and the washer and dryer is in front of their beds. So I lean, I propped it up against the washer, kind of like that. And I put it on low, you know, circulate some air, keep them cool. And when I went in in the morning, the fan, I noticed that I wasn't feeling nothing coming out of the fan. So I figured it's time to take it out and clean it out. Because if a fan gets stopped up, they don't blow air good. Well, the fan was turned around the opposite way. And I figured, well, maybe Waldo brushed against it and turned it. But now that I think of it, the way the cord is, it's it's just barely enough cord to lay there like that. There was no possible way to flip it that way. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what's in there. Probably nothing. But something turned that radio up or the radio just... I do know that them tuners and that can go bad. But why it went up like that, when I physically, physically turned that knob, to turn it down, and it went back up. Uh, you know, it's like I turned it, and as soon as I set it down to walk away, it went up. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm, I'm up at, you know, 3, 4 in the morning. I ain't going back to sleep. Yeah, I'm wide awake. I got my coffee. So let me know in the comments. Y'all had any any kind of experience like that? Do you believe in ghosts? I don't know. You can go. I'll leave a link at the end of this video, and then I'll leave a link in the description. You can go check out that video I made. Um, it's pretty freaky. It's pretty disturbing. But I personally don't. Why would anybody want to hang out here with the dogs? Now, they didn't act like something was in there, you know, and you can't see anything on the camera. There's nothing moving around, you know, just spider webs. Uh, the guy, the spider builds them every night. But you can't see anything. It's just, you know, the radio. And you can, and it goes on over an hour, and I could see the radio at times goes back down. But the... If it just shot up, that'd be one thing, but it gradually increases. And then a little bit later, it's gradually increasing. And then when that song came on, you know, so uh, Debbie's her name. Debbie, did that lady like the, the Judds? Because somebody here did. I don't know. You guys tell me. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.